More positive polling this week as yet another U.S. senator comes out for marriage equality. We have some major action quickly approaching in state legislatures. All that plus a huge international shakeup with access to marriage set to expand in at least three countries. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 15th, 2013. It seems like every week there's another round of polls showing more support than ever for the freedom to marry. This week it's an NBC News Wall Street Journal poll with 53% in favor and 42% opposed. This is an increase of about two percentage points since last December. In addition, 56% said that marriage equality should be determined federally rather than state by state. Also in national news, South Dakota Senator Tim Johnson has joined 53 other U.S. senators who support marriage equality. This leaves just three Senate Democrats who have not endorsed. And there's major action coming soon in multiple states. This week, Delaware introduced a marriage equality bill. Lawmakers there expect to pass the measure, which has widespread support by June of this year. We're also close to a vote on a marriage bill in Rhode Island. Senate President Teresa Paiva Weed told reporters that she expects a vote before the end of this month. It could come as early as next Monday when lawmakers return from spring break. Marriage equality made significant international advances this week as well. The French Senate has approved a marriage bill. It now must undergo a few more procedural votes, but at this point its passage is almost completely assured. Uruguay is similarly situated. This week, lawmakers approved a marriage bill there. Now it goes to President Jose Mujica for his signature, which he has pledged. And debate starts in Colombia this week, with the Senate there scheduled to weigh a marriage bill on Wednesday. A deadline to pass a bill is fast approaching. Two years ago, the country's constitutional court gave lawmakers a deadline of June 2013 to pass a marriage bill. If the bill is not approved in the next two months, the country will be automatically required to begin recognizing gay and lesbian unions. In addition to these advances internationally and in the states, we're just weeks away from a deadline for the U.S. Supreme Court to rule in the Prop 8 case. Subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org for breaking news alerts and to find out more about how you can help support the case of equality for all. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.